Hi, you're watching the Wee Chef. I'm Gail, this is my daughter Jasmine, and today we're going to be making a special treat. It's a recipe for dark chocolate covered almond butter cups. It's super delicious and it's really healthy and it's so easy to make. So come on in, we're going to show you how it's done. Okay, so this recipe makes about 12 of the almond butter cups. So you want to get about 12 of the um, little muffin tins. We chose these cute little ones we got from Michael's because they have pumpkins on them um, for October. But you could do any of the ones that you want. You can use your little mini muffin pan to keep more support for them if you want, but we're just going to put them on top of a cookie sheet. So you'll need about two bars of dark chocolate. You want it to be 70% or over for nutritional benefit. And you'll need about half a cup of almond butter. And you want it to be natural. And this one is creamy. You can use crunchy if you want, but we like the creamy one. Um, you'll need a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of sea salt. We found this good Hawaiian sea salt. Um, a tablespoon of arrowroot flour or cornstarch, just anything to thicken up the almond butter. And you might want to use a little more if you need it to be thicker. Um, you could choose to add some cacao beans, um, the chocolate bean crushed up into the actual nut butter mix or to put on top, but we're not going to do that today. So first you want to create a double boiler to melt the chocolate. So we're going to take a big pot, add a little water, about a couple inches, and get it boiling. And then we're going to place either a smaller pot or a bowl over the pot of boiling water. And this will just allow it to gently melt the chocolate so it doesn't overcook. It is fine. <laughs> yeah. Look at Jazzy stirring the chocolate. Ooh, yummy dark chocolate. It's a lot of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. It's all mixed up and all smooth. So we got all the um, chocolate melted. Now remember, we only use half of the amount of the chocolate for the recipe because we're just going to take that and line the little tins first. And the, and the last half of the chocolate is going to be used to put on top. So we've got it all melted here. You might want to leave that water boiling so you can use it to melt your second half of the chocolate. So look at that. Oh, it's delicious. So this we're going to use to spoon into our little, little cups and create a shell. We're going to take our melted chocolate and we're just going to fill these little cups with the chocolate, creating a shell. Can I do it? Yeah, you can do it. You want to fill it up. If you want to bring it up to the sides, you can. But I'm just going to put it down there on the bottom. I'm going to put it down. Mm, this still looks so yummy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to up. Yum. You're making almond butter cups for everybody, huh? Okay, so Jazzy's got them all filled up. We got them nice and even. And this basically creates the shell for the almond cups. And we're going to go ahead and put them in the fridge or the freezer until they harden and get them ready for the filling. So we're gonna probably put them in there about 10 minutes. Take this and pour it in the bowl. Add the flour or the cornstarch to the almond butter and stir until you get it thick enough to form small dough balls. You need about 12 for this recipe so you can place them in the shells. Girl. Good job. What are you doing? Ava. <laughs> okay, so we got them all made up right now, ready to put in the shells. Um, and depending how big your shells are, you can flatten them out if they're bigger or just leave them in the little dough balls and get them ready to put in the chocolate shells. Ready? So we just pulled our shells out of the freezer. That was really fast. This is so easy to make. Um, and they're nice and hard. So now we're just going to place our little almond butter balls inside on top of the shell. And now all we gotta do is fill them all up, and then we're going to melt the other chocolate 
and pour it over the top of this. Oh, we're filling all our cups up. Yum, good job. Now we've got them all filled up. And all we've got to do now is spoon the rest, yeah, the rest of the chocolate over. And then we're going to just pop it in the fridge or the freezer for about an hour, let it harden up, and you're ready to eat. We've got the rest of our chocolate all melted now, ready to go on top. And we're just going to spoon it over the top, make sure all the almond butter is covered. Now they're all covered in chocolate, and while they're still warm, before we're gonna put them in the fridge to harden, we're gonna top it with either chopped almonds or some chopped cocoa beans, and we really like the, the mixture of sea salt with chocolate. It gives it a nice salty, sweet flavor. So we're just gonna top it with some coarse sea salt on top. Just a little bit, not too much. We found this nice Hawaiian sea salt and it needs to be coarse because if it's not, it will melt into the chocolate. So go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit on top of each one. All right, so they're ready to pop in the fridge. We've got that beautiful sea salt on top. Such a good taste to these and it's such a perfect little treat. Okay, so here's the finished product. They're all hardened and ready to eat and we have a Special guest, here ready to try it, Dada's home. Ready to try our almond butter cups. Oh, yeah. You gonna try one? Sure. Let us know how it is. Let's see it. Mmm, mm, almond butter. I told you I made it. Yeah, see, I made it, I made it. That's good, huh? Yummy. So it's a nice little treat that Jazzy made for Dada. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.